Okay, YouTube Auto here. So are you a diving enthusiast? You just love to explore the depths of the ocean, uh, whether it's for treasure or seaweed or um, the aquatic life that's down there. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to convert the XR, the Vanguard XR, over to the Vanguard DXR. Okay, so the quick and dirty way is right here. Um, this is what it looks like. Okay, um, I believe if you're probably running something like this, you're probably running, uh, you're probably playing on a PVE server. Um, I'm not going to really recommend the diving platform for PvP. Uh, I personally do not use one. Um, I spec in my skill trees here. Okay, I get swimming here, improved swimming, advanced swimming. You get your oxygen. Okay, one, two, three, and you get your water temperatures. Okay, if you can't afford all three tiers of them, then just get tier one and two. Um, but try to get tier three of swimming right here. Uh, I know it's going to cost you eight points, but it's it's good. Um, the swimming is really good. Um, I rarely have a problem with temperature and um, oxygen, um, but uh, so I would say grab the oxygens, the first two tiers, grab the water temperatures, the first two tiers, and um, if you can, squeeze it in. If you're going to do it natural, I would go with all three um, diving uh, the other reason I generally don't have problems with the temp 2 is because I always spec fortitude. A lot of times I'm playing in environments that are kind of already harsh, either in the extreme heat or extreme cold, and it seems like this season it's been more cold. And so my base fortitude is always 30 plus. Okay. And so I don't sweat the weight too much. I go some weight, but a lot of times I'm specced into health, stamina, and fortitude. Because I got to be able to cover my bases out there. Um, okay, and so I realize when you spec natural, okay, for natural diving, you're going to aggro, right? But if if you stay swimming and stay moving, it's not usually a big deal. Um, and what I do is, like, I'll show you in here. Um, I usually put a. Uh, yeah, it's kind of remodeled different in here for this version, but I usually put a cabinet directly at the head of the bed. And what I will do is I'll throw everything into the cabinet except for my combat knife, you know. I'll put that between my teeth and then I'll just dive. Okay, so I'm diving naked, right? Um, unless it's in the polar region. If it's in the polar region, I'll probably keep a, a set of um, fur on. Okay, so so let's say you have the XR and you want to convert it to the diving version. All right, so this is the XR. All right, now here's the problem is, uh, let's grab us a diving platform real quick. Okay, the problem with the diving platform going on the base XR. Um, before we dive into that, just real quick. Um, the old schooner version, okay, the Constellation is what I was calling it. It doesn't have a problem, okay? There's no conflicts, right? So you guys want to dive, throw it on the side, you're ready to rock and roll. It weighs 24 pounds, so it's going to throw your weight up 24 pounds. Not a big deal. And this version of the XR that we're about to look at and build here... Um, it is not for your lightweight divers, okay? Um, because when it's all done and said, you add about 160 pounds to the ship, okay? And about a fifth of that, give or take, um, no, probably about a sixth. About a sixth of that weight is your diving platform. The rest is all the remodel, okay? Because you want your XR, but you want it to be the diving version, and, um, and you're not really sweating the weight, okay? 
Um, we'll look at options over in the other one, but this is what it looks like. Uh, you got your two ramps coming up here, so you have quick access from down here, right? Um, you got your door here, so you can walk right into your shop because you know when you're coming up from your diving and stuff, you're probably not going to want to fight with things. Um, you're probably going to be able to walk straight into your shop. So we gave you a door going straight into your shop. Okay, and then you come up here, and we put your bed up here. Okay, we gave you a cabinet at the head of it, uh, which the other one didn't have. But I didn't give the other one a cabinet because you have this cabinet right in the same room. You know, so the other one's really more PvP focused and you're trying to conserve weight. This one, if you are putting a diving platform on a schooner um, of this sort that's already built out, you're probably not PvPing. Um, okay, so yeah, we... Uh, we gave you a bed there, your uh, cabinet there, and, um, you know, if it was a PvP setup, I don't know why you're running a heavy schooner like this on PvP, but maybe you are. Um, you could easily do this here, too, um, right? And then just throw your door in, and then your bed is totally secure from people coming in and obliterating it if they happen to get down in that first level, right? Um, okay. Okay. So, and as far as that goes, if, you know, obviously if you are PvPing like this, you're going to throw your door here too, okay, so that there's a there's a doorway and a door here so that people can't just walk into your ship. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it looks like there was a recent change with the schooner. Every single wall I put down is just bumping out a hair farther. Um... And so I had to actually tear out several of the walls and redo them. So maybe you guys are noticing that too. If you have an older version of the XR, which was done just a few days ago, maybe they changed some vertices or something or snap points. But I noticed every wall I put down was just a hair off of the original walls. So just throwing that out there. Um, let's see what else we want to cover here. If... You don't want to crowd your lower area. You can pull those right off. Okay, you can still get onto the platform over here, right? You go up your ladder there, out the door, and boom, you're right there at the platform, right? So, if you notice, this side here, it has the square wall. That's where your bed went. This side does not. This side cannot have that. This side can't even have this angled piece bumped out that little bit. Okay, just that little bit will prevent this diving platform from going down. And so it's 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 a wee bit picky. Um, so let's see what we got here. So we got our diving platform. Here's the problem with the original XR. Okay, so you can't put the diving platform in. And you might be asking, like, what's the problem? Like, nothing's in the way. But you got to understand that I, I think that Atlas runs off, like, a, a type of a grid system. I could be wrong. But a lot of times I've seen around the game in various places that things are 100% clear visually. But when you go to put something in like this, it won't go in. And you're like, well, what's the problem? Well, now you got to find the problem, right? So I had to knock these back. And so I had to pop out that rail. I had to pop out that floor. Now watch. We'll do it like this. See? The rail and the floor, that was not enough. And so we have to go farther. There's still something else getting in the way. Um, and I actually think... I could be wrong, but let's see here. Okay. So it wasn't our sail. So let's pop this out. Okay, that didn't do it. Pop that out. Okay, there it is. You see how far back we have to cut the original XR? I mean, that's quite a bit. That just took away half your helm space, right? So, if you wanted to keep the XR relatively original, and you're willing to take that hit, let's go ahead and just throw that down momentarily, what I would do is pull the helm up and just scoot it over some, right? Just scoot it over a hair so that you can actually stand on your helm without standing halfway off into the air, into the thin air right here. And that's for those that want to keep the original XR, but maybe you're doing some part-time diving and you carry a platform with you just in case. 
you want to throw it on, jump on it, right? Go down, do what you got to do, come up, and you tear it back up. You remove it um, because it was a, a single time shot. It was just, you know, it's an emergency dive and you wanted to check something out. And so this is what you'd have to knock back, okay? Maybe you know you're going to be diving during those emergency situations. And so you can just pull those pieces off, right? We had to pull off. The sail doesn't have to be pulled off. We'll put that back. Um, pull the rail and then pull these pieces, right? So we pulled a rail and three pieces, okay? And a rail weighs eight, okay, eight, eight, eight. All right, they're all weight. So that's 32. The platform itself only weighs 24, Okay, so you just saved eight pounds. Your your XR is now eight um, pounds lighter. Um, don't pay attention to that weight. Obviously, that weight is wrong. Um, it's wrong because there's been things tore off and there's stuff sitting in the bin in there. And so, but your your XR will be eight pounds lighter. So instead of twenty seven forty, it'll be twenty seven thirty two. Okay, and again, I just moved the helm over a hair, and let's go get us a sail so that uh, we don't have those problems. Okay. See, we don't want to sail right there in front of the helm. We want it backward. Okay. All right, so that's that's it pretty much. Um, everything's relatively back to normal. You just have to cut that back. Okay, and this is the super easy. Okay, we're not even going to, this is not even going to uh, entitle this ship to a, a rebadging. Okay, because this was just a, a slight modification in order to temporarily put a diving platform on from time to time. Okay, and so we're not going to sweat that. Uh, we're going to leave this as the Vanguard XR. All right. So now, though, now that this is done, you guys seen how that was done? I'm going to tear this off. Okay. We're going to tear this off, and we're going to tear these back. We're going to remove the sail um, because now we're going to remodel to the to the DXR. Okay. Obviously, guys, if you've not built your XR. Build your XR all the way up to, you know, within this range or so. And then you can make these changes um, to the original video so that your permanent diving platform fits. Here we are. Okay, the easy part is you just put your ramp up, right? Because we use the same ramp setup. Right here, this is for your bed. This wall gets popped out. Now look. Okay, notice this right here. This is what I was talking about. And this happened in the last two days, right? These are This is the, all the original XR build here. All these walls are original. They've never been popped or lost or anything. But notice I put that new one on and it's all bumped out, right? And so this is what I've found in the last couple days, okay? And in this video and in today and Somewhere in here, the snap points have changed because every wall I put down, I had to redo all the walls on that one because it makes this one blump out. Now, if you're building a new XR or a DXR, you're not going to have this problem because they're all going to snap to the new points. So it's going to run smooth. Um, but these new ones won't because of the change in the, in the snap points. Something that was done in the patch or something in the last couple of days. Okay, so uh, here we go. That's not right. There we go. That's right. Okay. There we go. Plus, one of the added benefits to this new uh, platformed area here is, um, if especially if you want to keep the bottom clean, because I don't know, maybe you're running cannons or, or part cannon system down there, right? Maybe that's why you didn't want to run your ramps because you got cannons down there. And y'all know if you've run cannons on a schooner, it's very tight in there. And if you're running large, it's beyond tight. Like, they're cramped in there, okay? They're pushing and shoving each other around because it's so tight in there. So, you don't have room for any tames, right? But you still need to be able to temporarily carry a tame from time to time. 
you got plenty of room to carry a tame of of not in, the, in any of the giant ones. You know, you're not going to carry a a rhino or an elephant and a giraffe. I mean, you probably could squeeze one up here if you really tried to force it, but there's more room for, you know, a tiger, a lion, a bear, a wolf, a horse, you know, a cow, a sheep, you know, whatever you get out there. So there's a little bit of a deck here you gain. Another added benefit. Okay, so I would recommend putting the helm down now, um, just because once you get that sail down, it can be a bit tight to get that helm in there. Okay, I gotta go get it. Alright, let's grab our sail while we're over here. All right, and so that's the biggest change. Those are the biggest changes right there um, on the top deck. And so you can go ahead and put your sail in. Okay, and oh, I forgot. Um, you're going to need your ramp in order to get up here to do this, but you're going to need that space too. So what you can do so you don't repeat what I just did is... Um, Go ahead and put your sail down first. Okay, before you even build any of this upper part here, go ahead and put the sail down. And then you can build everything around the sail. That way you don't have to tear a piece out. There we go. And so, yeah, the sail is its definitely tight um, as far as the sail goes. But now it's not in the captain's way. Um... Now the captain is just a hair underneath that. And I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you exactly where the sails are going to fall after this. After we're done here. Okay. So what do we got here? Okay. This is the side that has to be. See this here. You cannot have this. You cannot have the left wall. Okay. See where it says wood sloped wall left. Okay, this one right here. You cannot use this one. And I'll show you. So we put that wall in, right? Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Let's get another diving platform. Okay, see? Now the diving platform does not fit. And you might think, you know, like, where's the problem piece? It's that angle right there. You pop that angle piece out. See there? Now the diving platform fits. And so you can have the angle piece in there. You just can't use the left wall. And that's the one that's popped out of here. You can't have that one right there. It's just out of here. And so if you go to the right wall, notice how it pops in. It takes up a little tiny space on your ramp. It's not really a big deal at all. Um, it, to me, it actually looks better out here. It's flush. Okay. And so we put that piece in right there. And then, boom, look at that. Platform goes down. No problem. Um, I actually messed up this wall. All right. Actually, I didn't. That was the old build right there. That was the XR. So when you're doing the XR, okay, you're remodeling the XR, you got to tear that wall out. Tear your larder out. Don't worry about it. We're going to give you back another larder. Um, so that's no worry. Um, I just put two floors out. I mean, you can go three or four, whatever you want, right? Um, there we go. We'll go out three, and we'll throw down our rail here um, so it looks legit, right? And we're going to leave this down here open. Yeah, there was three floors. 
And we're going to leave these off just so you can keep your bottom deck empty. If you want the ramps, go ahead and put them down, right? Um, but we're going to leave those off for now. We're going to throw this in here. There's your doorway. Okay, there's that. Okay, and we're going to name this shop. All right. So now we got our shop. You can go straight from your shop straight to your platform. Okay, and we come up top here, and we throw down the rest of our rails. Um, so it goes well with the rest of the, the theme on the ship. There we go. So now you get that full platform right there on the top. You still keep all your paint job and everything. Your helm gets put out front so that there's no issue here. Okay. You're way up there. That's pretty nice. I like the view. Um, I especially like the K view for those on PC. For those on Xbox, it's a different button. But I like this view. I use this view a lot when I'm out at sea. Um, I like a lot of my screenshots I grab are out here like this. It's gorgeous. Um, at least on ultra settings it is. Okay, so we're going to change this. Uh, cheat, set, ignore, wind, zero. All right, set, ignore, wind, one. There we go. And we do that so that you have to reinitialize the small sail. Okay, there we go. That's what it's going to look like when you're out there sailing. Alright, now let's go look at this. Let's go down here. Let's go into the shop. Um, with the new walls, what I found is there's a conflict. Okay, because the walls are, they're not only... Where'd it go? Uh, let's see here. Watch, I'll show y'all. Okay, let's pop this wall out, right? And we knew this wall cleared because we did it in the XR video. Now, okay, this one's fitting, no problem. But notice, notice the bottom. See how it does not match? It's like the whole piece is fatter. Okay, and so because this is blumped in, and yet on the other side, it's blumped out there too. It's like the entire piece is fatter now. So you have to account for that. Okay, and so if you're running the old XR, you might have to move your resource bin because it now might be in the way so that if you lose that wall, you can't put it back in. Okay, and so again, if you're building a brand new one, this is not going to be a problem because all your walls are going to line up. But this is the old XR, okay, and they changed snap points or wall widths or something in the last day or two. And so there might be a conflict. Check it, okay? Um, if there's a conflict, I recommend tearing it up and not even putting the resource bin there. Okay. In fact, we're going to do this right here. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's going to take us a, a moment to get rid of all these resources. But yeah, I'm not complaining about the difference in the width of the walls at all. Okay, because it actually made the schooner a hair wider. Okay, when you put the walls up there and you snap them out on the bottom lip of the deck, it actually made it a hair wider. Um, and that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing, all right? Because that gives us a bit more room on that back deck for all those harpoons that are already in there tight, right? So I'm not complaining about it. I'm just stating that there's a change and it's different. And you have to account for it if you're running the old XR build. Your walls are not going to all line up perfect. It's not going to be a problem for you new builders. Okay, because your walls are all going to line up with the new system. Okay, so we got rid of all that weight. Um, and what I would do is I would pull this out. Okay, this is exactly what I did in the other one. Okay, we're going to actually pull this out. 
Okay, we're going to pull this out. We actually just, we remodel the shop. Okay, we pull this out. All right, there we go. See, we remodel the shop. This is all that's left originally from the shop. Okay, your grill stays the same. Your your uh, smithy stays the same. Your um, mortar and pestle stays the same, right? Okay, so now how do we do this setup now? I moved this. Um, actually, I have to go get a couple pieces. I don't have everything for the shop on me. Okay, we don't need that, 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 that. We don't even need the cannonballs. Okay, let's grab a bed. All right, let's grab a resource container. Um, let's grab a food larder. Let's grab a preserving bag. Uh, are we missing anything? Oh, we're missing a library. Oh, we have the library's on us. Okay. So... What I did was I moved the resource container back here because when you're putting your planks on of your ship, your planks are probably one of the least pickiest pieces on the whole ship. But generally, you don't have a conflict if something is slightly in the way. Okay, so if you have this thing like right here or here or here, you know, anywhere in here, um, I try to run it as tight to the smithy as I can. Your rear planks, if they get busted off and you try to replace one on the fly... They're not going to have a problem with this. Okay. Um, okay, so I threw that there. And then I put my... Um, I put my library here. Uh, you don't have to put it here if you don't like it. You know, I realize it's cutting off your rear wall. Uh, And so now you're not going to be you're not going to have access to those two top rear planks from inside the shop. Um, you can still repair the side one right here. Actually, I think maybe you still can. You might be able to still repair them from over here on the right hand side. Yeah, you might be all right. Yeah, I think actually you are because I think that whole piece is covered there. Okay. I just didn't want to make it harder for y'all to do repairs out there. Okay, what do we got here? Here's our food larder. Um, we put our food larder like closer to the grill. Okay, and, and mine didn't conflict with the wall, although it will conflict with the wall. Um, this is for those running the, the old XRs. You got to pop that wall out and put down the new one. And I recommend popping that one and putting down the new one here too. That way your wall is even all the way across. You're not going to run into problems. Um... And who knows, you know, they, they change things from day to day. And so it's likely that we change this today. They could change it back tomorrow. You know what I mean? That's just part of what we as players have to deal with. Um, you know, it might happen that way. It might not. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Okay, so I moved the cabinet here. Um, the main cabinet for the, this is the, this is the cabinet for the smithy. Okay, and I just pop it out so the ropes are all the way out of the wall. And there, there we go. And now we can pop that wall out, and we can put it back in. See, no problem, no conflict. Okay, so then you still get your cabinet, you still get your resource bin. There's your library. Um, let's see here. I thought I put this over here, but maybe I didn't. Yeah, I think I did. If you move the larder over here, you don't, you'll have more room in there. But then if you notice, let's see, you can still access the grill. You can access the bag. Um, it is a bit tighter. But yeah, you can move the larder all the way over next to the cabinet. And then you can slide that back some. It'll give you a little bit more room in here. But it all does fit. It's just tight. Okay. We miss in here the ammo box. I put the ammo box right in front of the library. It's out of the way. It's small. There we go. Right? So it's out of the way. And be mindful, though, guys. If you get, Again, if you get blasted by a whale in the rear end, maybe not the blue whale. I don't really hunt those a lot. And so I do believe they hit. They don't hit as hard as a killer whale. But if you get blasted in the rear end by a killer whale, probably half your shop is gone. Um, so schooners can't really take that abuse. 
Okay, so now we're going to go up top. Okay, here we are. This is where I throw a cabinet right here. I centered it in the area. I pull it back so the strings are out of the wall and drop it. And then drop your bed right in front of it. And don't forget to spin it so that you are looking at the room and not the cabinet. Okay. So that's what I did with it. Um, that way your bed gets its own area here. It doesn't conflict with any of this here. It doesn't get in the way of any of that. And you can still easily get up and down your ladder here and get over into your rooms. Okay, let's go check the resource bin. Because when you're tearing stuff off, that's where it likes to throw things. Okay, so everything is in here. We can close that. Alright. So now let's look at us. See, we're at 2896. And we were at 2740 when we started. So that's 156 pounds. We put on 156 pounds. Um, and we would have put on a few more if we used these ramps. But we left the ramps out in case someone wants to run stuff down there. So again, this is not for your lightweight diver. This is the, for the person that they want to keep, you know, 90% of their XR and they want to convert it permanently over to a diving platform um, use. And so my guess is you're probably on a PVE server or a private server maybe and you like the XR and you want to convert it over um, because you are a diving enthusiast. And that's why we rebadged it. Uh, we figured there was enough change for a rebadge, and we call it the Vanguard DXR. Obviously, the D is for diving. Um, and so there she is. Let's see what it does when we... Let's get out here. Here we go. I wanted to see this right here. I didn't see it on the other one. See, that's what I thought. It's right above his head. Right above his head, which isn't bad. If you're zoomed in like this, woo, giving you a haircut here. Yeah, it's not bad. I actually like that better than the small sail um, before because the small sail was just a tiny bit like on you. But this isn't bad. All right, so that is your Vanguard DXR. Hope you all enjoy it for you diving enthusiasts that wanted to keep a hold of your Vanguard. Or Paro sliding around out here. I kind of enjoy that sometimes. I do that in the Briggs too. The Briggs can be a lot of fun. They power slide around. They can be a little squirrely though with these handling sails. Alright y'all. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.